All right, next we're about to spend a moment talking about transformations, reflections, rotations, stretches, dilations, etc. Um, but before we get into that, let me slide off to the side. Some of these rules you need to memorize, and some of them are common sense. Here are the rules that you need to memorize. At any time, you should be able to uh, take out a sheet of scratch paper and write these down. Let's start with our reflections. Okay, uh, you know, I feel like I should zoom in. Reflections. Okay, we've got um, reflections over the x-axis reflection over the y-axis hmm why did I put an equal sign I don't know maybe I can fix it okay we have reflection over the line y equals x and reflection over the line y equals negative x. Okay, so we have all of our reflections. Okay, um, you know what, I don't think I'm going to put that bracket there. I'll just change colors. Next, we have our rotations. Okay, we've got a 90 degree clockwise rotation. 90 degrees clockwise. We have 90 degrees counterclockwise. And we have a 180 degree rotation. Okay. Um, so here's something that I want you to memorize. I like to draw a line here and here. Okay, when we do these rules, they all come in the form well, of xy becomes something. All right, what happens to generic point x comma y? Um, all of the ones between the lines right here switch. So all of these are going to reverse and become y, x. All right, so always putting the line the lines like I did helps me remember that all of these are, are backwards. All right, the other three um, stay in the original order of x, y. All right, so all that's going to change is the signs. So. Um, when you do a reflection over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, uh, but the y-coordinate changes. Uh, if you do, uh, so that's x opposite of y. So if you do a reflection over the y-axis, um, the y-coordinate stays the same. So we have the opposite of x, comma y. Um, okay, if you have uh, a reflection over the line y equals x, then they just reverse, um, but they both stay positive. All right, there are no negative signs. If you do a reflection over the line y equals negative x, then they reverse, but um, they're, they both take the opposite sign. So opposite of y, opposite of x. 90 degrees clockwise. 
90 degree, uh, clockwise is sort of like the normal rotation, you know, it's the direction of a clock. So the first thing you see is going to be positive, which is kind of like the normal um, number, all right? Negative is like the opposite. Negative is like backwards. Positive is like normal. So clockwise is normal, the f positive is normal, so that's the first thing you see. The other one is going to be the opposite, all right? When you're doing counterclockwise, the first thing you see is going to be the opposite. The opposite of why? It's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is the opposite of clockwise. The first thing you see is opposite. And then the other one, uh, x stays the same. So opposite of y, comma x. And finally, when we do a 180 degree rotation, um, they don't reverse, but uh, you do the opposite of both of these. So opposite of x, opposite of y. So um, practice creating this chart over and over again. So um, if you ever have to take a, an exam, the first thing you should do is take out a sheet of scratch paper, write down this list, and then use it for the rest of the exam. So practice, uh, pause the video, and, and practice writing this list down on your own. Okay, now I'm going to assume that you did that. Now the first couple ones are the common sense ones. If I translate um, left one and down four, um, left one is going to affect the x value. So um, x minus one, that moves us left one. Down four, up and down is in the y direction. So y minus four will take us down four. If I translate down two and write three, be careful because this is not in the order that we normally would think. Left and right, we're talking about x values. Uh, when we talk about up or down, we're talking about y values. Y values are up and down, x values are left and right. So we really have to deal with the right three part first because that will be x plus three. And then down two, so that will be y minus two. So a lot of kids will mess this up because they'll see down two and they'll put x minus two. But up and down, that's the y direction. Anyway, reflection across the x-axis. Um, that's one of the ones that we just wrote down. All right, x-axis, that's x opposite of y. Okay, memorize this chart. Um, reflection across the y-axis, that's opposite of x, y. Okay, reflection across the line y equals x, that's y, x. All right, these are the ones you just have to memorize. Reflection across the line y equals negative x, that's opposite of y, opposite of x. All right, 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise, that's y opposite of x. Ninety degrees counterclockwise around the origin, that's opposite of y x. Okay, is right there. Um, 180 degrees uh, rotation around the origin. That's opposite of x, opposite of y. Okay, all of these you just must memorize and practice. Okay, now if I want to dilate from the origin by a scale factor of three, I just multiply all coordinates by three. So this will become three x, three y. If I want a horizontal stretch, okay, that's going to affect only the x values. Um, so that would be 3x, and y is going to stay the same. All right, horizontal, those are x values. 
All right, so I multiply the x's. If I want a vertical stretch, vertical is all about the y values. Okay, so I'm going to leave the x's alone, and I will multiply the y values by 3. So uh, these are just common sense. So, that's, so we don't have to memorize those. Okay, point A is located at 8, negative 5. Write the coordinates of um, A prime after each transformation. So if I want to translate right 5 and up 3, um, that would be um, 8 plus 5 and negative 5 plus 3, because that's how we go right 5 and up 3. So that's going to give us 13 comma negative 2. Okay, reflecting across the y-axis. So remember that reflecting across the y-axis, um, we do opposite of x comma y. Okay, so we have to do um, opposite of x comma y. So x is 8, so the opposite of x is negative 8 and then y is negative 5. Okay, we do the opposite of x and we leave y alone. Okay, reflect across the line y equals x. So remember that's yx. Okay, so this is yx. So y is negative 5 and x is 8. All right, so we just did y, x. Reflect across the line um, x equals negative 1. All right, so this is going to take a little bit of work. Um, notice that it's not on the list, you know, reflecting across the line x equals negative 1. So we need to draw a little bit of a graph. Okay, so um, just real quick. Okay, x equals negative 1. So here's my x-axis. Here's like negative 1 and negative 2, right? x equals a number is always a vertical line. So x equals negative 1 is a vertical line at negative 1. Whoa, and we have to do the point 8 comma negative 5. <laughs> okay, okay, um, we'll do our best. So maybe we can just pretend. So here is... Uh, let's pretend that this is 8, okay, right here. All right, pretend that this is 8. And uh, let's see, pretend that this is negative 5. Okay, 8, negative 5. Um, so here is the point 8, comma, negative 5. We need to reflect this over the dotted line I just made. So the way I would do that is, um, okay, I need to imagine, all right, imagine this distance, all right, this is supposed to be at negative 5. Imagine this distance right here, okay. Um, so if I'm going to reflect over this line, I need to go that same distance again and then that's where the image will be the same distance on the other side so I know this is a little bit tricky so the point is going to end up right here now one of these coordinates is very simple and doesn't take any thought and that's the y coordinate um, we're just reflecting over this line we're moving horizontally so the y value is not changing so the y value is still going to be negative 5. The only question is, what will the x value be? Well, um, let's see. Well, what is this distance over here anyway? Okay, let's see. Um, this is at 8. This end is at 8. The left end is at negative 1. How far apart are they? Well, it's 8 to the right, 1 to the left. That's a total of 9. 
So this distance is 9. That means this distance has to also be 9, right? It's a reflection. It's a mirror image. So I need, so does that mean that this is going to be negative 9 over here? No, because I'm not measuring from the y-axis. I'm measuring from negative 1. So if I start at negative 1 and I go 9 to the left, um, that's going to put me at negative 10. So that's why this is going to be negative 10, actually. So that's why the answer is going to be negative 10 comma negative 5. All right, that one took a little bit of thought. OK, back to the easy ones. 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. That's, that's going to be y opposite of x. OK, that was the rule. 90 degrees clockwise, y opposite of x. OK, so let's see. So y is negative 5. And then opposite of x, so therefore negative 8. 180 degree rotation, remember that one is opposite of x, opposite of y. OK, those you have to memorize. OK, there it is right there, opposite of x, opposite of y. So let's see, opposite of x. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. And the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. OK, so notice having these minus signs don't mean that both of these will be negative. That's why you keep hearing me say the word opposite, opposite of x and opposite of y. The 8 becomes negative 8, and the negative 5 becomes positive 5. So I'll, I recommend that when you're looking at these rules, anytime you see a negative sign, please say the word opposite so you won't make a mistake. All right, so now we're dilating from the origin by a scale factor of 3 over 2. So the way you dilate um, is by multiplying by the scale factor. So I, I'm looking at the point 8 comma negative 5, but I need to do 3 over 2 times 8, and I need to do 3 over 2 times negative 5. Okay, so 3 over 2 times 8, and 3 over 2 times negative 5. Okay, let's go ahead and make that a decimal. All right, so I saw 12 and then negative 7.5. Yeah, so that's going to be 12 comma negative 7.5. Okay, dilate from the point 2 comma 1 by a scale factor of 3 over 2. So this is going to take a little bit of work. All right, when you are not given graph paper, the best strategy is to move to the origin and back. So here's what I mean. Um, the point that they gave us is the point, um, well, you know, we're not there yet. So notice the difference between uh, problem G and problem H is uh, problem G, it says dilate from the origin. Origin. When you dilate from the origin, all you have to do is multiply by the scale factor. That's it. Um, when you dilate from any other point, uh, you can't just multiply by the scale factor. It's more complicated than that. So we're going to move to the origin so that we can just multiply by the scale factor. So here's how you do that. If I were going to move the point um, 2 comma 1 to the origin, what would I have to do? Well, what would it take to turn this into uh, 0 comma 0? 
I would have to subtract 2, and I would have to subtract 1. So that would move this to the origin. Now, I'm, I have to move the whole graph the same way, though. So the original point that we uh, were given is the point 8, comma, negative 5. So I've got this point um, 8, comma, negative 5 that I'm messing around with. 8, comma, negative 5. But I'm moving to the origin. And to do that, I had to do uh, negative 2. And I, had to, I had to do minus 2 and minus 1. So I have to do that to this point as well. So I have to do minus 2 and minus 1. OK? Um, so this, this was the original point A. But now we're temporarily moving this to the origin. Um, like rotating around the origin li like the way the, uh, the Earth rotates around the sun. Okay, so if I do that subtraction, then I'm going to get 6, comma, negative 6. All right, because I did minus 2 and minus 1, and this is what you get. Now I have moved to the origin. So the whole graph is now centered around the origin. Um, now that we're at the origin, now I can do what I did on the last problem. I can just multiply by the scale factor. Okay, so um, I'm going to take the uh, 6 and negative 6, and I'm going to multiply each of these by um, 3 over 2. So I'm doing uh, 6, I'm doing 3 over 2 times 6, and 3 over 2 times negative 6. All right, so 3 over 2 times 6, and 3 over 2 times negative 6. OK, so that's giving me 9. Uh, so you know if I do times negative 6, that's just going to give me negative 9. OK. Um, so we moved to the origin, now we've done the dilation, and now it's time to move back. Okay, um, so to move to the origin, I did minus 2, minus 1. So to move back, I need to do the opposite. So now I'm going to do plus 2, plus 1. And this will give me the final answer, a prime. So this is going to be 11 comma negative 8 and that's it 11 comma negative 8 so in short when you're doing a dilation and it's not at the origin um, you look at the point uh, the look at the center of dilation and you need to move that to the origin figure out what it takes to turn it into 0 comma 0 whatever that is do it to um, the point you want to move, then you can go ahead and just multiply by the scale factor, but then you have to undo what you did in the first step, and then that'll be your final answer. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe, or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.